Hello students, this is an add-on for the DMM topic from the last video. I have built up here now two voltage divider. Here on the left side I have a voltage divider um, supplied with 16 volts and two equal resistors of 1 kilo ohm. So in the middle you should measure 8 volts. On the other side the second voltage divider is more or less the same but I have different Resistors here in this case I take uh, one mega ohm on each side, but usually I would expect also in the middle eight volts So if I Show you the measurement at the moment for the left voltage divider um, You see here with this multimeter I will get round about eight volts That's okay, but what happens if I measure now the voltage divider with a one mega ohm with this measurement device so with this DMM you will see what happens you see at the moment um, in the middle of this voltage divider of the one meg voltage divider I measure 5.31 volts so there is a problem if you look to the circuit in detail I have here the voltage divider which resistors have each one mega ohm and you see I have here my DMM connected to the middle of it, but I only measure 5.31 volts. If you see this construction here, you see I have a parallel connection of two resistors. This is a 1 mega ohm and the multimeter. The multimeter has also an inner resistance, so I can write down Ri is in parallel to the 1 meg, and this is in my case Rx. So we have here both R, Rx. And now I can find out the inner resistance of this multimeter. So the first thing is I say Rx is in proportional to 5.31 volts and on the other side the rest of 16 volts to that is in proportional to the 1 mega ohm. So 1 mega ohm is proportional to 10.69 volts. Now I can calculate Rx. You see Rx here in this case is around about 490 kilo ohm. So both resistors together are 490 kilo ohm, and now I can calculate the inner resistance of this multimeter with a formula of the parallel connections of resistors, and you see the result is here at the end, round about 1 mega ohm. So take care if you make a measurement with uh, yeah, cheap multimeters, and um, take care if you measure voltages with this kind of DMMs because they have a very very low inner resistance so 1 mega ohm for DMM is very low. If I measure now the same thing with a Keith Lane multimeter so let's see I disconnect here the, the one other one and on the left side you will see I have uh, around about 8 volts and on the right side with a 1 mega ohm resistor also 8 volts. You also can measure the inner resistance of a multimeter, for example here in a range of 20 volts. So if you want to know the inner resistance of this multimeter in this range, you have to take another multimeter, set this range to, to the 2 mega ohm range, for example, and then connect both using here your normal terminals you need for your voltage input and here for the resistance input and you will see now the inner resistance of this multimeter is 1 mega ohm. I also want to show you the transistor tester here. In order to test the transistor you have to change the range to HFE, this is a normal current gain range, so this um, tester measures the current gain of a transistor, you see at the moment it's zero, no transistor is connected here in the, into the socket. To do this uh, you have to use a datasheet of a transistor in order to see if it's an NPN or PNP transistor and you have to see the pinout. I have uh, here a normal NPN transistor, BC337 or so, and the pinout is a CBE, and it's an NPN transistor, so we have, I have to put it here in the upper row, here to this position, and you see now the gain of this transistor is 
323 or so. That's okay for this transistor, so this transistor seems to be okay. Uh, another transistor is here in my case, uh, a BD137. It's a little power transistor. It has another pin out, but it's also an NPN transistor. If I connect this here into the socket, then you see it has a gain of around about 120. So this transistor also seems to be okay. Last but not least, I want to show you a restriction within an AC measurement. So what I did here is I connect now this function generator's output um, in parallel to this multimeter and this multimeter. And first of all, I adjust the function generator to the waveform sinusoidal signal and 50 Hz. You see here the 50 Hz on this multimeter on the Keithley. And if I measure now the AC volts, voltage here, you see I have 7.7 yeah, .7 volts. The cheap multimeter displays 7.2 volts, okay? Maybe this is okay. Now what I do now is I will increase the frequency, for example, to 1 kilohertz. You see this multimeter displays at the same time at the moment 7.7 .7 volts. The frequency is round about 1 kilohertz. Here you see the cheap multimeter display 7.1 volts. Okay, now I change the frequency to 10 kilohertz. We have now 10 kilohertz. Um, the voltage here is still 7.7 .7 volts, but this multimeter displays at the moment only 6.8 volts. So it goes down, so it cannot measure the RMS value correctly if you have higher frequencies. I can show you this also with 100 kilohertz. 100 kilohertz, still 7.7 .7 volts. Frequency around about 100 kilohertz and you see here this multimeter measures only 3.6 volts. So take care also about this. If you want to measure exactly, take the key slay. If you make a rough measurement, you can take the cheap ones. Okay, that was it. I hope it helped you to use uh, multimeters. Bye.